That mixture of overweening ego and nauseating self-pity reminds me of someone. Who could it be? Oh yes, I know, the golden tonsils. I'm, t I'm telling you, uh, Mr. Laws. You, you, you called me an idiot and you called Alan an, an idiot and you referred to grubby ways. Could, I, I'm simply asking you a simple question. What right do you have and on what grounds do you call me an idiot? The formerly famous John Laws having a go at Neil Mitchell on Melbourne's 3AW last week. Commenting on Kyle and Jackie O's adventures, Mitchell had taken a side swipe at Lawsy and Alan Jones. You know, it does highlight one of the, the, the absurd inconsistencies of the radio, the way uh, after, and they were idiots like John Laws and Alan Jones uh, carried on with their grubby ways, it's now incumbent on all of us on talk radio to declare if a politician buys us a glass of water. Well, Lawsy rang up and demanded to know what possible grounds Mitchell had for calling him and Jones idiots with grubby ways. And Mitchell told him. In 1999, the banks, you would be a strong critic of the banks. You suddenly became a supporter of the banks after they paid you money. That's I right. think that's grubby. But, but, I think that's very grubby. It's not grubby. It was all declared. In my opinion, it, it's it, grubby. It was, quite, it was quite public. Gobsmacking. The ABA inquiry into cash for comment found that John Laws's numerous lucrative sponsorships were neither declared nor public. The existence of relevant agreements between Mr Laws and his sponsors was withheld from his listeners. This non-disclosure was misleading and these broadcasts are in breach of the code. And yet, all these years later, he's still denying it, still banging on. Do you object to the idiot or grubby ways? I object to both. OK, fair enough. If you had, you say. Will you apologise? No. OK. Would you sue? Uh, probably. What grounds? Defamatory statements. And so on. Well, I agree with Neil Mitchell. Cash for comment was grubby. But Kyle Sandilands and Jackie O have set a whole new standard for grubbiness. We'll wait in fascination to see if ACMA finally acts. Until next week, good night.